we are on the sixth day in the octave of Easter. Let us begin our celebration by praying the entrance antiphon. The Lord led his people in hope while the sea engulfed their foes. Hallelujah. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear friends, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate Christ's sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Glory to God Amen. in the highest, and Amen. on earth peace, peace to, to people, people of goodwill. goodwill. We praise, we praise you. you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who gave us the Paschal Mystery in the covenant you established, for reconciling the human race. So dispose our minds, we pray, that what we celebrate by professing the faith, we may express in deeds through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After the crippled man had been cured, while Peter and John were still speaking to the people, the priest, the captain of the temple guard, and the Sadducees confronted them, disturbed that they were teaching the people and proclaiming in Jesus the resurrection of the dead. They laid hands on Peter and John and put them in custody until the next day. Since it was already evening, <clears throat> but many of those who heard the word came to believe, and the number of men grew to about 5,000. On the next day, their leaders, elders, and scribes were assembled in Jerusalem with Anas, the high priest, Caiaphas, John, Alexander, and all who were at the high priestly class. They brought them into their presence and questioned them. By what power or by what name have you done this? Then Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, answered them, Leaders, of the people and elders. If we are being examined today about a good deed done to a cripple, namely by what means he was saved, then all of you and all the people of Israel should know that it was in the name of Jesus Christ the Nazarene whom you crucified, whom God raised from the dead. In his name, this man stands before you healed. He is the stone rejected by you, the builders, which has become the cornerstone. 
There is no salvation through anyone else, nor is there any other name under heaven given to the human race by which we are to be saved. The word of the Lord. Thank Thanks to be to God. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. The stone, the stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good, for His mercy endures forever. Let the house of Israel say, His mercy endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord say, His mercy endures forever. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done. It is wonderful in our eyes. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. O Lord, grant salvation. O Lord, grant prosperity. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. The Lord is God and he has given us light. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Lord, Glory Lord. to you, O Lord. Jesus revealed himself again to his disciples at the Sea of Tiberias. He revealed himself in this way. Together were Simon Peter, Thomas called Didymus, Nathaniel from Cana in Galilee, Zebedee's sons, and to others of his disciples. Simon Peter said to them, I am going fishing. They said to him, We also will come with you. So they went out and got into the boat. But that night they caught nothing. When it was already dawn, Jesus was standing on the shore. But the disciples did not realize that it was Jesus. Jesus said to them, Children, have you caught anything to eat? They answered him, No. So he said to them, Cast the net over the right side of the boat, and you will find something. So they cast it, and were not able to pull it in because of the number of fish. So the disciple whom Jesus loved said to Peter, It is the Lord. When Simon Peter heard that it was the Lord, he tucked in his garment, for he was lightly clad, and jumped into the sea. The other disciples came in the boat, for they were not far from shore, only about a hundred yards, dragging the net with the fish. When they climbed out on shore, they saw a charcoal fire with fish on it and bread. Jesus said to them, Bring some of the fish you just caught. So Simon Peter went over and dragged the net ashore full of 153 large fish. Even though there were so many, the net was not torn. Jesus said to them, Come, have breakfast. And none of the disciples dared to ask him, Who are you? Because they realized it was the Lord. Jesus came over and took the bread and gave it to them, and in like manner the fish. This was now the third time Jesus was revealed to his disciples after being raised from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. We heard that uh, Jesus 
appeared to the apostles in different occasions and in different times. And most of the time, uh, the uh, resurrection appearance of Jesus to the disciples brought to them not only joy and hope, but also the consolation of peace. As what we have heard in today's Gospel reading from the Gospel of St. John, it narrates how Jesus, after his reason, he communicated and even appeared to his chosen apostles on the shore of the Sea of Tiberias. And it, it, it was being recorded that this was the third time Jesus appeared to his apostles after he was raised from the dead. And something that we could always find interesting was uh, the first time Jesus called them, they were also fishing. And we know that most of the apostles were fishermen. And eventually, Christ made them fishers of men. And after the resurrection, Jesus also appeared to them when they were fishing. And of course, that is the normal way of life of these apostles. So they went back to the life they used to be. And Jesus appeared to them. And this was truly an encounter of revelation and brought transformation to the apostles. As what we have heard in the first reading from the Acts of the Apostles, that through this uh, resurrection and, of course, when they received the gift of the Holy Spirit, they received that kind of boldness and courage to, to proclaim the risen Lord and also to proclaim the good news. And after Peter cured the crippled man, he claimed that his authority was not from, from him. His authority and the authority of the, apostle, of the apostles came from the risen Lord, from Jesus Christ, whom God raised from the dead. It, even Peter said and claimed, in the first reading from the Acts of the Apostles, he is the stone rejected by the builders, which has become the cornerstone. In other words, Jesus Christ became the pillar and the source of strength of all the apostles. And also, eventually, Jesus Christ became the source of the transformation of the apostles. My dear friends, we can also say that through Christ's resurrection, we can expect to receive whatever strength is necessary to express joy in times of sorrow. It is through Christ's resurrection that we can expect to receive whatever love in times of adversity. It is also through Christ's resurrection that we can expect to receive whatever forgiveness in times of persecution. And we can also say that it is really the reason Christ, mostly his resurrection, that would give us the kind of transformation that we need in our life. The fact that Christ rose from the dead does not often bring great changes to our daily life. But what it changes is how we look at life since from the moment that we accept Christ or the risen Lord in our life. As what happened to the apostle. When they recognized Christ, they said that it is the Lord. And they believed. And they were transformed. It could also happen to us. When we recognize and believe that it is the Lord that we witness and we profess. That we could also bring transformation and change in our life. So my dear friends in Christ, as we continue the season of Easter, let us always believe that all our fears, all our anxieties will be wiped out if we believe that Jesus Christ has risen from the dead 
and we profess that it is the Lord who always with us. Because we believe that Christ indeed has risen, the one rejected by the builders, and but become the cornerstone of our faith and salvation. Amen. Amen. Gathered as one people, we place our needs and desires before God our Father. Our response be, Lord, hear our prayer. For Pope Francis in his role, in his role holding the chair of Peter, may Jesus Christ's strength and power continue to flow through him in his ministry and leadership. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our God. prayer. For all those appointed to civic authority, may God give them wisdom in working with humility and steadfastness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who suffer from disabilities and sickness, may God's grace shine through to them abundantly and give them wellness and wholeness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us, on our Easter journey, may God's revelation of light conquering death continue to help us grow in faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those people who we promise to pray for, especially for those people who act as frontliners in battling the COVID-19 pandemic, that they will also be given protection, guidance, and receive the graces they need in life. We, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For the faithful who have died, may they praise God in the company of all the angels and saints in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For the intention of this Mass, for Marie Boots Zink, to whom this Mass is being offered, all the prayers that we hold in our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We now offer to God <clears throat> our personal prayers and petitions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Almighty and ever, ever powerful God, you showed us the way of salvation to your Holy Son. Hear and answer the prayers we offer today through Christ our Lord now and forever. Amen. 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 Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness you have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share the divinity of Christ who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness you have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, we be accepted by you, O Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquity and cleanse me from all my sins. <coughs> Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept, accept the sacrifice at your hands for the, the praise and glory of his name, for our for good and the good of his holy, holy church. church. Perfect within us, O Lord, we pray, the solemn exchange brought about by these paschal offerings, that we may be drawn from every from earthly desires to a longing for the things of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We'll lift lift them up the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right, right and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But on this day, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, 
when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For He is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, He has destroyed our death. And by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exalt, exalt in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic host, sing together the unending, unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, host, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give light to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself. So that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which should be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence, we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world, be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope and William our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. 
to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life. Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Father who, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but at the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer to each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you all. Peace be with you. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ be eternal to us. Receive it. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who take away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who call to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe in eternal life. Amen. Jesus said to his disciples, Come and eat. And he took bread and gave it to them. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Keep safe, O Lord, we pray, those whom you have served by your kindness, that redeemed by the passion of your Son, they may rejoice in his resurrection, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Have a blessed day, wonderful weekend. Keep safe and stay well and healthy. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. And may the Almighty and loving God bless you all. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. The Mass is ended. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Alleluia, alleluia. alleluia. alleluia.